Come on, babes. Let's go. There's the R. There's the R. <laughs> Didn't like the coop last night because Daddy put wood chips instead of straw. They're upset. He didn't put straw in the bottom of their floor. He put wood chips a little bit. Yeah. He's not happy. He's not happy girls. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Come on. I'm gonna have to eat weeds today. Mom had forgot to order the mealworms again. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> go wish we am. And last day till start vacation tomorrow for Bruce. And I'm going to take a vacation too. <laughs> Why not? I work hard too. Yes, I do. Anyways, I'm getting this house cleaned and back in order today. Everything's out of order and my mind don't like it. No, I'm going to send you guys out right now with Bruce. And he's watering the plants and he's, he's going to show you. All the frogs that we have. We have baby frogs everywhere. We have frogs, frogs, frogs. So let me give you and hand you over to Bruce. Come and get them. Here they are. They want to look around. Look at those sunflower seeds that grew. They're getting big. Here, I'm going to leave them right here on the porch. Hey, people, look at how big these sunflowers are. And our cattle bills, or whatever they call them, snapdragons. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's thriving in this garden. There's those Canadian lilies they call them because of the red. Yes, I think they're kind of, I don't know what kind of flowers they're. We're going to go in the pond here. Oh, look what we got there. It's a little froggy. It's a little froggy enjoying the sun. Sitting beside his frog, buddy. Our little plastic one. But there's about, there's all kinds in here. As you can see them all. loaded with frogs because of the baby and I left that sunflower it's growing right in the middle of my waterfall I left it anyways and then we have all these hollyhocks and we stuck our Canadian flag on it and then I monstrosity of weeds and garden over there I gotta do some weeding this weekend and then over here is oh sorry people oh we have butterfly bushes blooming And we have a little leopard frog. There's all kinds of frogs in here. Bullfrogs and leopard frogs. And then we're going to go along. Check out some of these flowers. 
different flowers from the wild flower collection. But that's our butterfly bush. It didn't get very big this year. Yeah, that's that. My pond could use some water. But yeah, these little guys. You're really close to them. They're pretty friendly. So you know, nobody bothers them. See, I'm almost touching them with the lens. Hey guys. Then we have her wave petunias and then these little this little guy and then the wildflower collection there's some neat, neat ones in that wildflower collection I really like these right here they're really pretty flower just like my wife she's a pretty flower yeah And that's about it. And our marigolds, our chicken marigolds. And the chicken blanner. And this will be the end. And we have a blue dragonfly. Got all kinds of colors of dragonflies around here. We have green, blue. I think that's about it. Oh, and there's another one if I see it I'll tape it okay you guys everybody wants to know how these candles smell so I'm going to give it a test today the boys will tell me they don't know I lit it so I'll let you know what they think of it okay we're gonna let it burn and then I will let you guys know my opinion on them mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting organized today yes and I'm asking Bruce, he's going to build me a counter. I'm going to ask him to build it while he's off. Right here, I just want a flat cap, uh, countertop right here with shelves underneath. I think he can do that. I'm going to have a fried egg right now. I'm starving. I'm starving. Today, you guys, I'm making pizza for dinner. We're having pizza. Yes. And... We're going to be getting our house back in order. Yes, I hate when my house is upside down. All that shopping and stuff. Put my, oh, put my house upside down. We're going to get it back in order for the weekend. Okay, Bruce's lunch. Two, uh, well not two. One sub, I cut it in half. Ham and cheese sub. He's got little tomatoes with ranch dressing. And a big Turk bar right here. And he's got some chips. Last day I got to make lunches for a week. Yeah. Next week's vacation week. Okay, guys. We're going to peel some corn. I still have this corn from a few days ago. We got to eat that. We're going to eat that with our pizza. Yeah. So I got the... Uh, Oh, there goes my, get my bag, Sandy. Um, what did I get done? Oh, I got the bed made. I got two loads of laundry going. Folded all the new towels. Um, oh, I got the dishes all done up. From yesterday that I didn't do. And I'm just putting these away. These are like the heavy clips. I had I had them on the railings holding the Canada Day stuff up. Uh, I feel like I love to be outside today. It's a beautiful day and it's not hot. I wonder if I can open the windows today. Sometimes I do that then I regret it because it gets hot. It's beautiful out here. Okay, so I hope this corn is still good. Let's take a look at it. There goes Bruce. Say bye. Have a good day. Get that corn peel. Hopefully you have half a day. Hopefully I'll have a good day. Yeah. Love ya. 
Okay, I have my helper here. Are you watching Daddy go to work? Oh, you're gonna miss your daddy. <laughs> you can help me peel some corn. <laughs> and then I got Sandy over here. She's gonna help me too, eh? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hopefully it looks still good. Remember when we used to have the the reunions and stuff? When we were younger, we'd peel the corn. And when we had the parties in the summer, uh, you used to get dozens of corn. Dozens and dozens. Sometimes I see these people get corn on the cob and they get four slices, four corns for a family of like ten. I don't get it. I could eat three or four myself. <laughs> When it comes to homegrown corn, <laughs> homegrown, yeah. I'm hoping that La Friette's corn is coming. This one is okay, but it's not La Friette's corn. I think I might freeze some if if, we, if they get a good crop this year. I might freeze. So corn on the cob to have in the freezer. Yes! Okay, I'm going to give you my opinion on this candle. If you like mellow smells, which I do, and you find um, bath and body candles too strong, which I do, then these are the candles for you. It's a nice mellow smell through the house. Like, it's not overpowering. I find the Bath and Body candles a little too overpowering for me, but that's me. But you're not going to get the power smell like you will with one of those, with one of these. But to me, to me personally, this is nice candle, nice, soft, not overpowering candle. And the boys didn't complain, so we win, win, win. <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to have some Mountain Dew. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like some Mountain Dew do. <laughs> yeah, not like we don't have any energy. I do. <laughs> I got lots. And I'm eating my, um, my egg roll. I didn't eat it yesterday with my uh, Chinese food. It was really good. So... What I want to do is work on these jars, get them full, and get it organized. I wanted Bruce to build my shelf over here while he's off, but he says he wants to do his greenhouse. So we'll see. I'm hoping. I'm going to go have my Mountain Dew and my egg roll here. Oh, you just do over the camera, don't you? What did you? <laughs> Kitty patooters. <laughs> okay, so I'm a mess here now. <laughs> this turned into this needs to be organized. Turns into this. I'm eating chips while I'm doing it. And I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what this one is. I, I thought it was icing sugar I put in here. I can't tell what it is. I don't know what it is. Can you tell me what it is? This is the icing sugar. I don't know what that is. Okay, you guys. I got my baking stuff all in here. I'm going to try and organize this one now. I'm going to put my... I use some of those jars for like things like my coconut because I... I got my coconut in bags and my chocolate in those and then I'll just, it's, I'm not going in it every, every day chipping it. You know what I mean? Anyways, we're going to put rice up here and a few things in jars up here. Okay, so I talked to Nate. I said I'm a bit in the pickle right now. I have all this <laughs> stuff here. <laughs> I said, let's just have something easy for dinner. And um, we'll cook pizza tomorrow when Dad's home. Yes, I got this mess. It's 
clean. I'm getting there. I'm going to organize it nice. Yeah, and um, he said, okay, no problem. And I got to go tomorrow get Q-tips and face wash and a few things. And I'll take you guys with me, of course, but we'll go tomorrow and do that. What a mess. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have craft dinner in corn on the cob. And Nate's going to have some chicken fingers and popcorn chicken. Yeah, let's get back to work, you guys. Okay, I got her done. Now this shelf right here, I'm going to have to ask Bruce to fix it. It's kind of sagging a little bit, so I'll ask him to fix that up a bit. But I got it done. I This is my baking shelf, so when I'm going to bake, I'm going to just pull them out. And then I can put them back in. Yeah. And we got to use some of this stuff up. We got so much stuff. And all that's filled with canned goods and jars. Yeah, so we got our pantry cleaned out. <laughs> I didn't plan on doing it, but it turned out that way. Now I'm going to start our dinner. Okay, we got corn going in. And we're going to make some craft dinner. We're going to call that dinner tonight. Yeah. There we go. Well, that is my dinner tonight. <laughs> Let's go eat, then we'll say good night. We got some laundry to fold before we go to bed. Okay, guys, that pile of laundry, it's going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to fold it tomorrow. I'm going to hit the stack. Hit the hay stack. <laughs> good night, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.